All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shots Taken. My name is David, and I'm here with... Yo, what up? It's your boy, Big P. What up, David? Shout out what to up? my Lord Jerry in the building. Yo, yo, what up? Jerry, what up? All right, y'all, we're back. Back, back from vacation. We were off for like a good month. Wow. A month or so. No vacation. No more vacation, though. Back to work. Wow. Shocker. My boy, Pat, came back from the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, man. Living ghetto fabulous out there. Now, back to living ghetto fabulous here in the USA. Or should I say the US of A. How was it though? How was your, how was your oh, t- no, 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 I'll say it. Cheers, I'm not drinking today. Is your boy a little sober? Just know I'm sober too. I just had to take a shot of the Dominican rum. <laughs> for the public I'm going to give the people a quick rundown of what happened um, I know we had a Me and Jerry had to go pick you up <laughs> Imagine In my mind In my mind you guys picked me up yeah. In my mind Had to send the PJ yeah, that's But true. look The trip Overall Fantastic Had a great time Good vibe The resort was beautiful It's, to- it's what I it's what I expected. I actually never seen like a clear ocean like that. So beautiful, beautiful vibe. Women's crazy, tourists crazy. Vibe out. I did go through some ups and downs with the with the airline. You know, I already gave him a. I already gave him a a grade. I gave him a D minus. Your your inner Karen came out or what? You left a Google review? Uh not inner Karen. I was more like this was more like Jamie. Like this is not uh, this is not you Karen. You didn't go full Karen mode? No, nah, I didn't go Karen. I was like I was on Jamie mode, so I didn't really you know it didn't it, it it cause like for say I missed two flights, right? It didn't really like fuck. Like I did have work the two next. I did have work the next two days, but I didn't let that shit brush me like huh? brush me off. Like did you get I was or what? in my mind. Nah, I called off. Uh. The thing is, over there, like is ahead by like three, four hours. So I had to do it. I had to do it at a certain time. But trip out. It's ahead over there, but I was. Living ghetto fabulous out there, still LA time out there. Mm. So that's why I, I had too much energy. Coming back, I was retarded. Like coming <laughs> back here, I was done. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. After two missed flights, I really wanted to come back home. For like, context, I, I he did it. fly Spirit, Spirit Airlines. So <sighs> thank you, David, for, t- for sharing that. <laughs> thank you. Spirit Both Airlines. Flights? Spirit Airlines, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. Both the, flights? The, huh? Both flights? Nah, the flight the flights over there, which were fantastic. I'm not complaining about the flights over there. It's just the coming back. back. Yeah, it was a situation and um, if it was too good to be true from Spirit Airlines. Once you told us, I was like, are you flying Spirit? And you're like, Yes. I was like, Oh then that's your fault, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> when, when when Drake said I bought I was playing the song today, he was like <laughs> said i'm emotionally spirit but i don't fly spirit when he said that i'm like yeah i feel him now yeah, like now i like, feel him so this is my last time <laughs> flying spirit like and i did fly with spirit because so my so my, uh, my my folks they flew out there in the other airline but they were going to panama to punta cana i was going to miami then to Punta Cana, and the layover was 12 hours, and I'm like, oh, shit, layover in Miami? Fuck. <laughs> like, I was, like, that's the shit I want, like, right. you know? If you're going to party, you're going to party in Miami. That was with point. the homie Few over there. Like, we, like, it was fantastic. I'm telling you, like, going over there was great, but just the coming back was a bitch, and I'm very disappointed. And uh, yesterday I got a notification by Spirit Airlines and the – the head chiefs over there, and they gave me 50 bucks for the fucking complaint that I gave them. Like, <laughs> like who the fuck are you guys, son? Like, son, I want a fucking, I want a flight. I want a trip. Like, I want a free trip. That's it. That's it. That's funny. So Spirit Airlines was like, uh, we missed two flights, but here's $50. So Spirit Airlines, if <laughs> you're listening to right us thing. right now, yeah. if you're listening to us right now, if you sponsor us, if you sponsor us, 
Give us tickets wherever we want to go. Hey, we can work something out. <laughs> and I ain't talking Dominican spirit. This is American spirit. Like, <laughs> Dominican spirit's a whole other story. The right. motherfuckers just open for 30 minutes and just leave. They want to go home, dog. <laughs> they want to go home, bro. I I, they they totally made me look dumb at the airport, bro. They're like, yo, we're closing up. We're leaving. I'm like, shit. Y'all don't have Apple Pay? Like, fuck. Right. Like, yeah, I was on that tip. Oh my like, God. super American type of shit over there. I had to relax. I thought it was my country. My country's not even like that, you know? That's for a little updated. A little updated. But, yeah, bro, on the scale of 1 through 10 on my trip, I gave it a 9 and Oh, uh, okay. Just you the know, flight was what ruined it? The flight is what ruined it, yeah. The, the airline, if you want to say so. And I did fly back with American Airlines, so shout out Double A. There you go. American but, Airlines is probably the way to go. Now. But, David, now your trip, son. Your trip. Mine was uh, Rosarito. Rosarito. During, like, Baja Beach Fest weekend. Baja Beach Fest. We uh, didn't get tickets to go, though. Word. But you were thinking of going. Yeah. So our plan was we wanted to see the lineup because I went last year. And you it was fun. You but definitely like, had fun last year. You yeah, showed us hella sure. videos. Yeah, for sure. I feel like when you go to music festivals like that, though, it's definitely like it takes years <laughs> off your life. Like it's draining, like all that walking and all that drinking. And we we're like, like, honestly, in my head, I was like, if like Jay Balvin or Bad Bunny's not performing at Baja, then I'm not going. Because like the fe- the lineup this year was like kind of whack. It wasn't whack. Who was the was biggest like, artist this year? What? Jay Cortez? No, Daddy Yankee. Faruko? And- Daddy Yankee? Yeah, but, like, he wasn't enough. Daddy Yankee like, was there? Yeah, he was there. But uh, he was there on the Sunday and, like, Banda MS. But, like, to me, it's not worth You're paying, right. like, 500 bucks. They yeah, killed you it. You know what I mean? I think Banda MS killed it. Like, yeah, I'm it, pretty sure they did. They but the like grand close. But, like, to me, it wasn't worth paying, like, that much for the three days. And how much was it, Pop? I don't like, know. 500 bucks for, like, oh, VIP shit. I for know. a three-day week. Oh, it's VIP? just not bad, but I'm saying, like, it's not worth I feel you, bro. I feel you. Like, that lineup that you went to last year was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd the rather year do befo- that. The year before that was actually COVID, but, like, two years prior was, like, Bad Bunny and, like, J Balvin. Like, all the big, like, reggaeton. But I feel like Bad Bunny's probably too big for that music festival now. Especially wow. in Rosarito. Who, who knows? But are you sure Daddy Inky was there? I don't know. I mean, I didn't go. Because Daddy Inky was on his last tour. I went to Daddy one of Daddy Inky's last sure, tours. Well, I'm pretty sure he played in L.A. that same weekend, then he f- probably flew to like, Rosarito to Word. perform. But, yeah, but the thing is, so our plan was just to go, like, the Rosarito, like, party area. If we wanted to get tickets last minute, we could have. We decided not to. Um, but we wanted to party because either way, that place was packed. Like, it's, it was going to be packed. Regardless. Packed no matter what. So, like, the party vibes were going to be there. But... I don't know if you guys know, there was that whole cartel shit going on. Kind of ruined our trip. I wouldn't say ruined it. I think we made the best of it, but it was definitely like. Yeah. It was so, like, so it wasn't really ruined. You guys were just. Yeah. they had like, I mean, not you guys. You obviously, we're, we're also hearing and seeing shit on the web. So, yeah. you know, we're sharing in this. We're, everybody was just aware of what's going of on, of what was going on. And they didn't want it to further on but i will say though to the w- public it didn't happen in rosarito though it was like in tj, TJ. and like uh tecate i think it was and then um some other area but it wasn't like it was more like inner city stuff yeah. but like but thank god we like didn't even thank know. god we didn't like it didn't go past that like yeah, you know straight up because i was like yo like Cause i know i knew some course. folks that went you know it looked like a vibe so yeah but I mean, it was cool. I mean, we made it worth it. We So the first night we did go out because we were Thursday through Sunday. Thursday we went out, but it was like, it was a Thursday night, so it wasn't like cracking, cracking. But I had fun. And then Friday, Saturday, we pretty much stayed in because of what was going on. Apparently there was a curfew, 10 p.m., but the festival was still going on. And I'm pretty sure those clubs were still open. But I haven't heard that word since 2020. Yeah, pretty much like a curfew. Yeah, that word curfew is yeah. a strong a word curfew. over here. But we made it worth it, you know. We no, no, were, as you should. Good people, good like family. As you like should, bro. Friends, as, so. as you should, as you should. Yeah, so word that's up. pretty much what happened. But the thing is, we didn't know until like all of our family members started calling us, texting us, like, "Hey, bro, like, there's car bombings and shit going on, cartel shit." I was like, "Oh fuck!" Like by the border, and I was like, I, "All I was worried about was like, fuck, can I go home?" That was the only thing I, I was mean. That's about. all you could worry about. Dog, I'm telling you, when I was over there in Dominican Republic, I told you that shit. Like, after the resort, if you want to really go out, out, that shit's 45, 50 minutes away. You got to get a cab and shit like so, that. So, like, yeah, or you got to kidnap a cab, 
cab driver and, you know, just take him with you and have fun. I was just scared. I was like, fuck, what if I had to live a life out here? What if they close the borders? I'm like, damn, I got to find a job out here. <laughs> That's, that was my main concern. David, like, relax, yeah. because you know your ass is getting back. I know. But, like, your ass is getting back. No, no Brittany. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, like Brittany is... Stuck stuff. Like, yeah, she's stuck. But that's that's a whole different thing. You are like, by Cali. Yeah. I feel like if you know English, you can get your way out of there in Mexico. You sure? Maybe a hundred bucks to just be like, yo, taxi, take me close to the border. I'll fucking run it. But David, yeah. your shot's taken. You're like 500 yeah. bucks. Yeah, straight You got to relax. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but overall, the trip was good. We back here. Word up. Uh, there wasn't much going. I feel like there hasn't been a lot going on in the world, though. Like, as question. Far as, like, I mean, question. Not question, but just I'm just saying, blessed to be here, oh, blessed yeah, to come, sure. blessed to blessed to go on our trips and, and to come be back, back here. Yes, yeah, safe here, safe and sound with the fab. Everybody back. Yeah, David, now, what up, Jerry? What up? Is this home? Yeah. It's, it's good to be back. We're here. That's it. Yeah, we're now yeah. we're back. You know, Ain't nothing like home. Summer's over, pretty much. No, it's not. Cause after, if it's over, why the fuck is this hot as shit? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, it's David? Like 125 it's after degrees. summer, nigga. I what know, are you talking fuck. about? I meant like like summer, like vacation. Nah, David, I don't think it's over yet. <laughs> fuck, they got us good though. <laughs> they got us good for sure. Like yeah, but is it, did the time change? Cause as soon as I you came back, not anymore, right? I don't, yeah, I heard that. I heard really? that they don't. They're not gonna do any any more time changes like that. Yeah, like, but I came back and. When I used to get off of work around 7, 7.30, it would still be, like, you know, sunlight. Yeah. The sunset's still there. The sunlight's still there. Now, it's it's almost sunset. Like, it's going down. Well, I think it's, like, fall season. So, like, usually, like, around, like, September, October. Word. Do the time change. Uh-huh. I think. I don't know. I'm just saying that out of my ass. But, um... But I guess if they're not gonna do it no more, I don't like, know, I don't, like I, shit, if they're not gonna do it anymore, then we're gonna fucking, we're definitely gonna see sp- the moon, my nigga. <laughs> we're definitely gonna be like Buzz Lightyear, Buzz like Lightyear. for sure. That's funny. I'm not gonna lie, but yes, yeah, son. Yeah, but, um, Glad to be back. What do you think of uh, what's it called? The Lakers getting Patrick Beverly. I love it. You do? Yeah. I actually thought you weren't gonna like it. I thought that was like. I thought about it. I thought about it. Took a second. THT. Who else? Oh, um, Stanley Johnson. Stanley Johnson. That was it. For Patrick Beverly. And then I and it made me think about that the the rumors months ago with the when we THT for um, Kyle Lowry. Oh yeah. I thought about that. I'm like, damn. Because Patrick Beverly, 34. Now. It's probably. To me, and THT is twenty one. To me, that that's probably the same shit, again. Like getting Kyle Lowry. Yeah, and I like I like Patrick Beverly because I know defensively, he's a dog. He's a. I feel like he'll a go bulldog. After you for sure. He's a pit bull. A pit bull. Oh, okay. And he will annoy, uh, the opponent's best player, which I would. I'm happy it won't be us anymore. Right. Because I remember. Yeah. You know. So, I'm glad. And obviously, fit though? Like, I don't think so. What's what if Westbrook's still on the team? No. If Westbrook's gone, then okay. Well, that was to me. That was probably a strategy. Like, yo, now what? Ain't no way they're both playing at the same time. What is Westbrook? What's the plan for Westbrook now? Like, I think you gotta go. If we're gonna keep, we playing. know, we know. Could we say they don't, they don't like each other? We know they have history, but... Yeah, for sure, because they... I remember Pat Bev got Russ hurt one year, and, like... This is dead-ass like a movie, bro. This is like <laughs> Coach Carter or something. Like, you got two, like, players that don't like each other or, had, like, you know, had moments, had terrible moments with each other, and now they're on a team mm-hmm. with the King. And here you, uh, like, a couple months ago, you had, and I loved it when Patrick Beverly was on all the fucking NBA oh, like, platforms. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. you know, yeah. from, was he on TNT? I don't know, but um, like, from first, like take first take to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I loved it. Patrick Beverly was dummy entertaining, right. and he was speaking his truth, bro. From, from Russell Westbrook to CP3 to, the, you know, the ones that 
He, bug him he, the most. He says what like other players are kind of scared to say. Like he don't care. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I I like that about him. Did I hate him before? Hell yeah. Yeah, he's one of I those guys like you him. hate to play against, but Come you on. love when he's on your team. As a LeBron fan, that man is a yeah. That motherfucker is annoying Isn't as that shit. Kind of like what fucking people thought about fucking West, Russell Westbrook before he came. Yeah, that's true. And then look at us. You didn't even make the playoffs. They were Word. Yeah, no, I think we got to get rid of Russ. Because um, if not, like, during, like, timeouts and shit, I could see, like, Russ and Pat Bev, like, ready to throw hands. But what if things do actually change? Because I know Russ is Russ is going to stay. You think so? Yeah. I, I mean, was, I, was I, mean I still, I still like, I, I always have hope for Kyrie a trade right? deadline. Right. Hey, that's, a, that's what we want, right? But I'm not, yeah, we're not I'm not going to praise that anymore. Well, they I could, said that they were gonna, KD decided he's not going to get traded no more. So. Word, word. Yeah. And I'm, I am I do look forward to that um, Miles Turner. Oh, like that. Buddy, Buddy Hill. I would, yeah. I would want that. I do have hope in that. What about Jordan Clarkson? I don't know if you heard that. Jordan Clarkson, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, like Jordan Clarkson. Cole, bringing them back? Yeah, bringing them back. Trading Russ out to OKC. I mean, uh, to the Jazz. Jazz got boofy, dog. That's well, that so crazy. Uh, yeah, I know. Shout I know. out to Luca though. That's Luka so did that crazy. Too. Beat him in the playoffs, and they had to do a whole rebuild. Just one trade away, bro. But I heard they got like they're like tied with OKC now, with like 15 first round picks for like all the trades that they did. They're doing like a straight hard rebuild because they got a fuck ton for Rudy Gobert, which I thought they got a lot for, but whatever. And then. Obviously for Donovan Mitchell. Hey, shout out to Donovan Mitchell going to Cleveland though, because I actually like that more than with Jazz's with Jazz's. Yeah, like or I like that fit for him more than when he was on the Jazz. Like I think that Cleveland team will be better than those Jazz teams in the past. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, because they I have, have to like, agree with you there. But that trade, Sexton's gone. There's a couple of them that left that were it's just well Sexton and like a bunch of picks. Word, but they still have like Kevin Love. They have uh, Jared Allen. Yeah. Darius Garland, mm-hmm. Donovan Mitchell, mm-hmm. Evan Mobley. So they got a squad. Hey, low key, the East is like stacked as fuck now. You're talking about the East, like yeah, just in general East, now. East. Like they, like Donovan Mitchell, I think kind of puts them up with like because you had to think of all the teams in the East. There's like the Bulls, the Bucks, Seventy Sixers, Brooklyn, Memphis. No, that's the West. Food oh Memphis. shit! Fucking the Cleveland, um, the Celtics. That's like, what is that, seven teams I just named off yeah. the top of my head? Yeah. Yeah, I think the East is going to be tough next year. Yeah, but you know East ain't really East. It's the West, bro. You think you think the Cleveland? The West is still still in there. You think the Cavs can make it to the finals without Braun? No. Imagine they do, though. That would be, be, be amazing. I would love to see. Obviously, this is, like, way out there. I know a lot of people are going to talk Braun shit. Go, Braun goes back home. They're winning a championship. Bro. With that roster, low they're key winning take a championship. Home Braun goes home. No, nah, but what I was going to say. I was thinking that. I, that was, like, actually the first thing that I thought of. I was like, damn. Because, you know, when he put, like. All the put, memes came what up. What did Braun put? He, you know, when he saw it, he was like, good sum. I was like, damn. I was like, don't. I was about to tweet, don't think about it, Braun, but he's not going back home. No, he he's signed with us for another two more yeah, years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's dope. Yeah, that's why I know. But, like. Yeah, if he goes to the back home, that's a fucking championship team, bro. No, I was going to say because um, when LeBron left. Contenders. When LeBron left Miami, Miami went back to the finals and we beat them. Remember the bubble? So I'm thinking, what if Cleveland goes back to the finals? Imagine LeBron playing Cleveland in the finals. I don't think they're a finals team. I still think, I still think the Bucks and the Celtics are like the top team. In the yeah. But we'll see how they fit because Donovan Mitchell, you know, he. I think yeah. he's, he's a nice player. So we'll Very see nice player. But I, I feel like a lot of players are going to come back from their injuries this, yeah. this season. And it's funny how we're, we're not hearing any updates about Kawhi and shit like that. Yeah, I think the We're Clippers just seeing are Paul George and John Wall right now. Oh, at the runs? Yeah. yeah. And, I don't, and I, those runs really don't impress me, bro. They don't. Cause they don't impress me at all. I think it's every summer. But it's you nice see the to same see. Thing. It's nice to see though. Yeah, because I remember Word. I was watching one that looked dope. It was like Trey Young and Steph on the same yeah, team. Yeah, I like that one. Like that that's hard. dope. But like that was hard. we know, that, like in real life, it doesn't work like exactly. in the NBA. But exactly. it's just good to watch. That like, doesn't surprise me hoops. at all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I do think if Kawhi's healthy, he's always been like a quiet dude with Clippers. I can't wait for Kendrick Nunn though. 
I'm like I've been impatient, bro. If we stubbed his toe, it was out for a whole season. Like they had no intent of trading that fool. Like I know, I feel like he might be a up, sleeper what, what's player. What's up with that? Yeah, maybe. Like when we get rid of Russ, I think he might be our guy. Like him and Pat Bev, like but, as far as point guards. Okay, we gotta <laughs> stop saying get rid of get, getting rid of Russ or I mean, trading Russ. Russ is not gonna leave yet. You don't think to so? Me yet. So you think by opening night, Russ is still a Laker? Yes. I think so too. Trade deadline. I'm gonna give trade deadline. Same here. Not that he's gonna like go, but trade deadline. We have to figure some shit out. Yeah, because I feel like this off season has been really dry. Like there's not well aside from the Donovan Mitchell Rudy Gobert shit, but like it hasn't been like, or maybe because like it, nothing happened with the Lakers. Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. You think the Lakers will resign Melo? Nah, I would love to, but no. If New York gets focus, on? focused, we're focused on younger players. I think so. I think Patrick Beverly is probably the last old fool we're gonna thirty get. year old. I heard we might get Dennis Schroeder back too. <sighs> Damn, how many PGs are that? Is that already? Well, like to me, if we get him, we that we definitely got to trade Russ and get like Buddy Hield and Miles Turner at that point, which I think is the best like value like for Russ because oh, Miles word. Turner to me is like an underrated center, and then Hield. Like, I think he was, like, top five in, like, three-pointers made Word. the past, like, couple years. And back to your Melo question, I think Melo is interested in going back home. But then going back home. Like a retirement tour. It would have to be a retirement tour. It's going to be a retirement tour because it's not going to be the same coming out the bench. Very weird. But, hey, <laughs> in that Knicks jersey, hey, they didn't get Donovan Mitchell. So those motherfuckers are depressed in the East Coast yeah, right now. Dude, when's the last time the Knicks had anyone good? I feel kind of bad for them, bro. Like. Their big signing was overpaying Jalen Brunson. Like, yeah, and can't like, hate on that man. That man was balling. He was balling, but like, imagine him or Donovan Mitchell, bro. You like, said overpaid. He was a little overpaid. I you got like a hundred mil or some shit. Yeah, the, who said they had connect? Oh yeah, homie said yeah, that last night. Yeah, that but his pops work there yeah. or some shit like that. But hey, he did play his ass off, and I did like him with Luca. So I, that, I it, it hurt a little bit, but shit. We'll see how the Mavs do without him, though. But we'll see. Oh, they're getting Hardaway Jr. Like this. I think uh, and I like I like Hardaway Jr. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Mello yeah. Knicks, Mello, Knicks. Yeah, it's gonna be a retirement tour. I feel like it's gonna be a, like on what vet season. minimum? Yeah, can Lakers do it? Lakers could do it too. I think it'd be better with the Lakers. Mello off bench? Nah, actually, it would be better for New York though. They would be better for New York. Yeah, especially since they didn't get homie. Yeah, it'd be better. It'd be a better. We just line. we're just focused on you know who, LeBron and Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie. Yeah. yeah. It kind of got me heated that this whole season, he KD pretty much gave everyone blue balls, saying that he wanted out. And I feel like he really did, though, bro. That he did want it out? Yeah. It was funny because I saw the memes where he's like, trade me or fire Steve Nash. And then he was like, no, nah, we're not doing either of them. He's like, oh, okay. I'm still playing with y'all. Because if you think about it, they made no moves. They made no moves. Hey, you guys watch Entourage? Have you guys watched that before? I haven't watched it in a minute. Oh, that's, that's like... That's that's based that industry is based on like the movie world, but and ballers is based on damn they don't have a basketball one like that yet. But they ballers should. is based on football, right? Agency well, I guess and shit. The, that Adam Sandler movie is probably the closest one. True. With both hustle. And shit. You're right, hustle, but yeah. not really like those two. Yeah. That one was you know a little serious because yeah. of homie, but I'm just saying those agents were those agents talk KD and sustain and to. Giving Brooklyn one more chance. Yeah, because I think let's just like. Cause are, are they still a top? Are they still a top? Not on top, but are they still contenders in the East? Depends how Ben Simmons is. I think that's the. Big oh my question. lord! Well, because we saw with Kyrie and KD, they got swept by the Celtics. You still care about Ben Simmons? No, I feel like he's like the big X factor. Like they might be another trade trade deadline team. Like if they're still trash, then they'll be like, all right, it's, like it's time to like blow it up now. But if Ben Simmons is nice and the team is flowing and they're a playoff team, then they might, like, contend for a championship, yes. Like you said, East is um, East is cracking. East right is cracking. And I do got maybe three teams beating Brooklyn. <laughs> so. Same here. I would have, you like, did? the Bucks, Celtics, and, like, 76. But I do have hope in them. Remember, I, I wasn't expecting – them to get their ass whooped by Celtics. I thought they were gonna at least contend. Like yeah, they were not a lot of people. Out. Not a lot of people knew that. The I don't. I feel like they won't get. They won't get blown out next season. Yeah, 
We'll see. If I was Celtics, I would have traded like maybe Jalen Brown for like KD. Nah, nah bro. Nah. Just keep the team. Yeah, they, you just went yeah. to the finals. You don't yeah. mess that up. Yeah. yeah, don't fuck it up. And add, they added a little. They had a shooter. Who they get? Um, <sighs> Galinari. All right. Tore his ACL though. At the, at the preseason? Where, where, where? I think, like, during workouts and shit. I just oh, got a notification shit. Yeah. Damn. And yeah. they added two, like, two shooters. But that was a good one, too. I like that one. I like Gallinari. Gallinari. I know. I think they got a... And they got yeah. another boy. I'm trying to remember who they got. Good pickup. Like, like Gallinari. Good shooter. And... Who else did they get? Mm. I remember that was, like, okay. It was solid. Oh, Malcolm Brogdon. Yeah. I think, yeah, they'll be solid. Yeah. Word up. I can't wait for opening night. I can't wait for preseason, bro. I feel like. What's that? What, what's that? Who's opening night? It's October. Lakers. Lakers who? I think they play the Warriors here at home. Warriors. That's what I'm waiting for. Any, like, cha- any changes in the Warriors? Nah. They just won the championship, bro. They didn't. Bro, we won a championship. We traded the whole motherfucking <laughs> team, bro. Yeah, but the Warriors, they're, they're a good franchise. We got fucking Rob Palinka fucking trading a 21-year-old for an old Patrick Beverly, bro. We got to stop saying old because that man. Oh, I mean, old in basketball years. 34, we're not too far. We're getting closer to that age, so. We'll see what's up. We'll see how the Lakers do. Oh. Lakers, baby. I'm hopeful. I like the Jazz. Very hopeful. You like I, think, the- I like the fact that they're. Blew up that team. And then we'll see. I think the Timberwolves might be like what Rudy Gobert. At first, I didn't like it, but now, like, I think they might be all right. We'll see what's up. Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards, D Lo. Think he's going to throw hands with Nick Young? Did you see that notification? No, nah, what happened? Still this year? Yeah, because you know, you, Nick Young is going to box fucking Blueface. Oh. That's that's just still happening. I think so. I think it's happening. Like this man, Blueface soon. been getting rocked by Craig Shaw every fucking <laughs> every week, bro. I mean, I guess that's practice. Uh, I, he's Let still fighting Blueface. Yeah, and then I guess a notification came out saying that he I got blue to face. fight. I got Blueface winning that. Oh wait, never mind. It's supposed to happen July thirtieth. Never happened. I guess not. But I, <laughs> I guess they're asking him a boxing question. He says he wants to box D'Lo, and I'm like, dude, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Word up If only celebrity boxing Was out during that time for Hey And this is Low key You can put this in the after hours Or I'll keep it here That Mike Tyson Hulu joint Oh I haven't seen it Dude but, I haven't but, been but, watching TV I know bro. I don't Hey but have you heard about it though Like Mike Tyson Did not approve Of it It's kind of like The Showtime Lakers thing Right Cause remember No one approved of that show I never knew they didn't approve of it I thought like at least Cause there's, Some another, executives. There's, there's another yeah. like Showtime thing that came out on Hulu actually. Yeah, I want to see that Legacy, but that that's that was approved by that a lot of approved, yeah. that was approved. Bronze on it, everybody's everybody's on Laker, that one. Yeah, yeah, everybody. But the, I need to Showtime see that Lakers. shit, son. You seen it? I haven't seen it yet, son. Uh-huh. I want to see that. That's the one I want to see, son. I was talking to Dope. I don't have Hulu no more, man. They banned me, son. Really? Nah, I just didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> but it's all good. But I do. What I still want to see it. But the Mike Tyson joint, so. He never approved of it. The shit's still coming out. Jamie Foxx and Mike Tyson told us that that's the character that is really the one to play him, which he could really do. Cause Jamie Foxx? Yeah, he proved it. He proved that he could do it, and he really did. And he know he's been around Mike. Yeah, because Jamie Foxx is a good so actor. So he's studying. Good actor, bro. Yeah, so. And I just watched um, Collateral for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah, you seen it? Mm-mm. It's with him, and, him and Tom Cruise. I, bro, I, I've, I've heard of these movies. I just look. I have, I have time, my boy. Bro, I've been sleeping early lately, bro. As soon as I, I gain weight, bro. Really, just I have work and go bro. to sleep. Really? Nah, yeah, I've been doing that since I've been losing weight, bro. I haven't been sleeping, bro. I see. Yeah, like I'm doing the, I'm doing the opposite. Day. I had to buy eye cream because I have fucking bags under my eye cream. <laughs> I didn't even know that was fucking. Pop. There's eye cream and shit. Yeah, what the fuck? To put the bubble down. Yeah, like I never knew that, dick. Yeah, Target, my boy. Well, shit. Yeah, your boy need to get some. Well, I don't know if I should check it out. He told he told the world not to watch it, so I feel like they're not watching that shit just so they I feel can. like you kind of have to watch it now just to see if it's good. See Master Splinter or what? How did the fuck did you know? This one's more like this one's more like uh Jerry. Not 
landlord Jerry, but oh, Jerry Tommy, from Tommy, Tommy Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he said he saw Master Splinter. Jerry. Oh, shit. I saw, I saw Jerry. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is Jerry. Yeah. yeah that's what up, Jerry? That's Mickey Mouse's cousins, lady, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's all good. It's all good. Word up. <laughs> uh, is there Word any uh, last minute things you guys want to put in? Shit, man. Um, what about the Clippers? What about them? We still hate them? I do, <laughs> but they're going to be contenders. Yeah, I have them like top tier. Like I think they're the team. Of them and the Warriors. Hey, is Jamal Murray coming back? I, ca- I, I, yeah. I missed that fool. Yeah, he's, they say he's supposed to be scheduled for. I think he's going to play preseason, actually. I missed that fool. Word up. Yeah. So, it's the Clipper Killers. Clipper yeah, Killers. Luka. Luka. I don't think the West is as strong as they once were. Bro, West is so strong, bro. Not as much as the East, though. All the stars went to the East, if you think about it. Like the big big stars are in the East. There's still some good ones in the West, but like top tier stars, West might win. West side. Yeah, but you East side now. Nah, I still like Lakers, my boy, but we'll see how it goes. All right, yo, that's high. Yo, get, yo, I just, they just need to give us Ingram back and we straight. Huh. Well, the Pelicans might be nice, too, with Zion. Let's see what's up with that food. He lost all his weight. Oh, boy. All right, we'll see. Wrap it up. Yeah, I guess we'll wrap it up. That's it for this week's episode of Shots Taking. We're back. Try to get back on the ground with... I'm gonna try to edit it right now, real quick. <laughs> this Get guy, clips. this guy, gotta relax. It's I already, tell you, I don't sleep no more. So if I'm gonna be awake. I might as well be it's doing. It's 3 a.m., my ladies and gentlemen. This is after hours, after hours, after hours. So they gotta relax. Yeah. I'm about to get the cream he was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> shout out landlord Jerry, Pat. Yo, shout out Jerry. Shout out David. We back to it. Like and subscribe to joints, man. Until shout next out. time. I'm about to sip on this fucking Dominican rum, son. Cause until there's none, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Until next time. Bow. Bye bye.